what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Kuda B, an associate of Takashi 69 has been granted a temporary release from prison as a result of the coronavirus outbreak. His lawyer went to work, said that Kuda was suffering from asthma-related symptoms. Uh, he had to get out of there. He's a high-risk uh, prisoner. If he stayed in there, he would likely contract the coronavirus and he could die. The lawyer went to work. Takashi wasn't so lucky. His lawyers tried to get him out of there due to the coronavirus outbreak and they were unsuccessful. So was R. Kelly's lawyers. A lot of people trying to get out of that jail, man. At this rate, man, it's gonna be a lot of casualties because there's no way to escape being in close proximity to people when you're locked up. That is a lot of contact. You're not gonna be able to practice social distancing, not in prison. Some people will, those people that are isolated, they'll be able to for, for some extent, to some extent, but nah, in general, that thing is gonna affect a whole lot of people because jail is nasty. It's people in jail, man. It's not all people, but damn, it's enough. Nasty ass people, man. So that's how it is. Takashi will be released August 2nd, I think. Dude got some trouble on his hand. As you know, he snitched on everybody he ever laid eyes on. I mean, the dude went on a snitching tour, snitched on everybody. I'm talking about what is it called? A, Nine Trey Gang. Nine Trey Gang. Oh, man. Now, Kuda B is the guy that Takashi fingered as the shooter who tried to take out Chief Keith in New York in Times Square. And Kuda actually admitted that, yes, indeed, I was the shooter directed by Takashi, <laughs> say, let me tell you something. This this play gangster thing it is it, it, it's not working out for for people who ain't really about that. It don't even work out for the real. It's only in most cases, you know, you got two results: long pr prison sentences or death. That's it. So these guys are going to be after Takashi. That nine trade gang has a lot of members, a whole lot of people. Their pride is going to make them go after him. Some of the people he didn't really directly affect, but their pride is going to make them go after Takashi. I think by him going to prison, actually sitting in prison, actually saved his life, bought him some time. The moment he gets out on those streets, he's going to be a marked man. Now, remember, this other guy, Kuda, is a shooter. Even though he missed Chief Keith, I mean, missed him all the way. He ended up hitting, they said he hit some signage. Didn't bleed anything, just hit some signage. So Chief Keith is a lucky cat. Lucky, lucky, lucky. It would be nice if Takashi could pull it together. You know, get this, get his act together and use that power that he have for good because he has a legion of fans who believe in him, who ride for him. If he could take that same energy he had while he was in court, humble himself, not the snitching part, but the humbling part, if he could take that and try to use it to better himself and other people, he'll be all right. But still, he's going to have to watch his back. 
because he ratted out a whole lot of people. And I wouldn't be surprised if the bookies in Vegas are taking bets on whether he survived or not. In fact, not whether he survived, but how long he survived. What do y'all think his chances are on the streets? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?